I'm your review guide and today I'm going to be doing a gaming review of the NanoCell 85 series. And if at any point during the video you want to go check out this exact same TV, I put Amazon links down below for the US, UK, and Canada, but let's get right into the video. It is a 4K TV that is natively 120 hertz with two HDMI 2.1 ports. So it can run up to 4K gaming at 120 hertz for all of the new consoles like the Xbox Series X and PS5, as well as PCs. But now let's move into the gaming features. It has AMD FreeSync Premium. FreeSync Premium is a type of a variable refresh rate. This is going to eliminate screen tearing by matching the console or PC's frame rate to the TV. While you're playing a game, frame rate always varies it could be 66 FPS, then it could jump all the way to 72. When it is not in sync, it will cause screen tearing. FreeSync Premium eliminates that. So having FreeSync Premium on the NanoSoul 85 series is a really big pro. Not a lot of TVs have it, and it does push them ahead of other TV manufacturers. Now, it also has HGIG. It stands for HDR Gaming Interest Group, and it's like a standard or a guideline for displaying HDR gaming content. It aims to make sure players on all HDR TV platforms have the same gaming experience with HDR, so it's the most accurate to color of the game as it can be. All HDR on different TVs are built different, and sometimes the TV can make the whites too white and drown out all the detail, or make the blacks too dark and muddy all the shadows in game. Obviously, this creates a disadvantage while gaming because you can't see some of the details that somebody else might see. HGIG works to combat this so that the tone mapping will map all of the details in the whites and blacks without getting them blown out or muddied. So basically, it makes sure that the tone mapping of the HDR is making as crisp as image as possible for in-game experience. Now, let's move into the NanoCell 85 series low latency game mode. You can automatically tell the difference from the game mode and out of game mode with just the input lag. In game mode, there's virtually no input lag. There's always a number for input lag. There's going to be at least some but it's not noticeable on this TV. So the low amount of input lag on this TV in itself is impressive, but it's even more impressive for the price point. The 49 inch comes in at $600, and the 65 inch behind me comes in at 1,000. So you're going to have a low input lag for both the consoles and if you're gaming on PC. As well as that, response times are decent, so there is a little bit of motion blur and some fast paced settings in game. It's not crazy or annoying, but it is noticeable, so I had to mention it. Now, let's move into the panel type of the 85 series. It is an IPS panel, so that means that the contrast levels and black levels are not as nice as a VA panel. That being said, the picture quality is still vibrant and crisp, it's just not gonna get as deep as blacks as some other TVs. There also is a little bit of blooming if you're in a dark setting with subtitles. It's not an awful amount of blooming, I've seen way worse, but you do notice it, so I did have to mention it. Now, let's move into room placement. Because this is an IPS panel, that means wide viewing angles. Wide viewing angles come into play when you're not sitting directly in front of the TV. If you have a VA panel TV, you go to the side, the image is going to get less vibrant and look washed out. So if you are gonna be gaming where you're not sitting in front of the TV and you're gonna be sitting off a little bit to the side, an IPS panel is what you're gonna to wanna to look for, which is what the NanoCell 85 series is. Also, it is very good at combating glare. So if you're planning on putting a TV in a room that has a lot of windows, you are not going to have to worry about the glare and making the picture unviewable. It combats glare very nicely and you're going to be able to game on this TV in pretty much any room environment. Now, let's move into the brightness. So this LG NanoCell has a peak brightness of 550 nits. Now, this is a little bit darker than you would want for displaying HDR content. Usually you're gonna want 600 or higher at least, but that being said, for this price point of $600 at the 49 inch and 1,000 for the 65 inch, it still displays HDR content very nicely in game. It still provides a crisp and clear image. It's just not bright enough to handle some of the crazy whites and some of the deep blacks. Now, let's move into more of the general use of this TV. It has Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant built in, so you can use the voice control button on the LG Magic Remote. But now, let me tell you about the inputs that LG included in the NanoCell 85 series. There are two HDMI 2.1 ports, one of which is eARC, 
There are two HDMI 2.0 ports, three USB, an AVN, optical audio out, a place for a cable box, an antenna, and an ethernet port. So even if you had a multiple consoles and say a fire stick and on top of that a cable box, you're gonna be set as far as inputs. You're not gonna have to keep unplugging and replugging things back in. So the NanoCell 85 series comes in four different sizes, the 49 inch, 55 inch, 65 inch, and 75 inch. So there's quite a few options to choose from depending on your room size and what's the best fit for you. As well as this, they are all able to be mounted on a vase mount. Again, if you do wanna go check out this exact same TV, I put Amazon links down below, but that was my gaming review of the NanoCell 85 five series this TV was built for both console gaming and PC gaming in mind so if you want to use this for any of the consoles or PC it has extremely low input lag barely even noticeable the response time is pretty decent and on top of that it has H gig and a free sync premium so you're gonna be getting a lot out of this TV for the money you'll spend but I really hope this video helped you out if it did it'd be awesome if you can hit that like button or that subscribe button but I was your review guide and I'll see you in the next video.